Hi guys, Mary here. I hope you can hear me okay. I have these new uh, earbuds in that uh, I got for my birthday. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, and Ala. Thank you, Jenny and Ala. Okay. So, I've been getting a lot of questions from viewers um, about what it is that I'm talking about when I say that energy is coming into the planet. So, I got my trusty whiteboard here and I wanted to just kind of draw for you what it is I'm talking about. Okay. So the energy that's coming into the planet from the sun, this is the sun, it's my sun. <laughs> um, and then the energy um, is coming from the great central sun. This is the great central sun. So the great central sun to me is uh, the center of all, all there is, the center of the universe. Um, it is the allness and the oneness. So this is the great central sun, and this is our sun, and we're down here. Okay, so normally, um, the energy that normally comes into the planet is a very slow energy, so it would look something like this. So if you're thinking about Hertz, it would look, um, oops, sorry, it would look something like that, a very slow energy. Um, but what the energy is like now is very fast energy, so it's more like this. So um, it would be a higher frequency. So where this one might be 10 hertz, this would be like 60 hertz or more. So that is the uh, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about energy. And it's photonic energy coming from our sun. Um, from, it comes from the great central sun of our sun and then to us. And it's photonic light energy. So we are moving into our light bodies as humans on the planet and because this energy is coming in and our bodies are not used, oops, our bodies are not used to this energy um, we are having signs that this is happening because we are integrating into our light bodies so signs that this is happening um, you could be getting headaches in fact I was talking to a client who told me that she got a headache and then it felt like it felt like um, her head was expanding and she felt like you know it could blow <laughs> there was just so much pressure on her head now it didn't last long maybe a minute or two but if you don't know what's going on it could be disconcerting now I want to just put out there as a caveat if you feel like something's not right if you feel like you need medical attention absolutely go to the doctor or the ER or whatever um, but I'm just letting you know uh, some of the things that people are experiencing. So headaches is one, um, visual changes, or um, you might see floaters or little spots, little lights, things like that. Um, you may get a fluttering in your heart. I know I've talked about that before. Um, you may he feel ringing in the ears. So all of this is around our head, so it's our crown, our crown chakra is opening, our third eye is opening, our heart center is opening. So um, that's uh, what's happening there. Now if you think about it, if you're anchored in your heart and you've done a lot of the inner work, so your first three chakras are nice and clear, um, you've dealt with any trauma, you've dealt with any issues, things from your past that have come up to be healed and purged, and you're moving up in the chakra system. So you're anchoring into your heart and um, activating the higher chakras. And, and as you do that, that's bringing you uh, into your light body. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So if anybody has any questions, just send me an email to the lighthouse medium at gmail.com and I'm happy to answer any questions that you do have. Another symptom was nausea. I wanted to talk about that for a minute. I had extreme um, 
GI symptoms about three or four months ago. And I had to really look at what I was putting into my body. I can't eat any junk food. Uh, it just makes me sick. It's not like I don't want it. <laughs> um, I'm not a health nut. I've never been a health nut. But my body is telling me what it needs. Because we're doing this work, we're, we're working, you know, at night we're working. We're doing a lot of energetic work. We're doing a lot of inner work. Um, you might feel a craving for comfort food, things that you're used to from your childhood. Try to find comfort foods that are also um, nourishing to your body or your temple. Our body is telling us what it needs, and um, just try to listen to your body. I'm not eating any meat. I'm not eating, I'm, I'm slowly cutting out more and more, so it get, it's to the point where I'm mostly eating vegetables and fruit. So um, whatever I can find on this island. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you live in a city that has a lot of vegan options and vegan cheeses and things like that, good for you. That's good stuff. Maybe have a food diary, write down uh, what you've eaten and how it's made you feel and, and listen to your body. Okay. I'm just going to do an energy reading for today. It's April 5th, 2019. It is the new moon. So um, put any intentions out there that you would like to co-create with the universe. Um, remember that, uh, you know, you put your intention out there of what you'd like to co-create. You believe that it can happen, and you're trusting in the universe to bring it to you. But if you're constantly in anxiety about this, and you're not happy where you are, you're going to be vibrating at a low frequency. And what you want to bring in is vibrating at a higher frequency, so you're not a vibrational match. So the way to be a vibrational match for what it is that you wish to bring in is to be grateful for what it is that you have, be in gratitude. If you hate your job, find something about your job that you love and be grateful for it. If you're in a relationship that you're not happy in, find something about the relationship that you love. That will get you out of that lack mentality and into that higher vibration. It could even be as much as a lesson. Um, this job, I hate this job, but oh, it's taught me so much. It's taught me what I don't want and it's taught me what I want to be. And um, I am so grateful for that lesson. It could be as simple as that, but that shows the universe that you um, are not in that lack mentality. So try not to look too externally for things outside of you and go within. All the answers are really within your heart. Um, but definitely increase your vibration through gratitude and love. And um, I think that that will help you to, to manifest quicker what it is that you wish to co-create. We don't even realize that we're having these thoughts and what they, how they can shift the energy. Okay. Look to your higher power. You know, yesterday I was having a, a rough day, <laughs> a really rough day yesterday. And so I had to let it go. I had to surrender. Now surrendering, doesn't mean, and when I say surrender, I mean surrender to my higher power. Surrendering doesn't mean that you, you're just giving up. It's not that kind of surrender. It's letting go of the situation, trusting that the universe has your back. So I just, I just said, God, I, I need assistance here. I don't know what to do in this situation. And I just put it up to God. I said, I'm giving you this. I'm just giving it to you. And then I just relaxed and stayed aware and then I got a phone call from a really good friend of mine who's also a reader and it felt divinely guided because she called me and it was I, I kind of vented a little bit to her and she just helped me by giving me information that I really already knew but it was kind of like validation so um, if you're going through something like that just give it up to God give it up to your higher power whatever that is for you, and let it go. Okay. And then, and then be at peace. And then be aware um, for guidance to come in.
Take time to breathe. Take time to sit quietly in contemplation, meditation. It's the weekend coming up, so maybe take some time off. If you're super busy and you can't take a whole day off, maybe take a couple hours off, but take some time to yourself. Connect with nature. Ground with the earth. Stare at a tree or <laughs> a plant. Sit in the flowers, sit in a park, whatever you can do to really connect with Mother Earth and ground yourself. This is the oracle. It says, wait for important information. So get grounded. You surrendered the situation to your higher power. You're grounded in nature. You've asked for guidance. Now just wait for the answers to come because they will come. They always come. Maybe not in five minutes, maybe not even today, but the answers will definitely come. Just trust in that and listen. You have to listen. You have to go within and you have to turn off the noise. Get rid of the cell phone, get rid of the YouTube. I mean, after this video, of course. Um, <laughs> get away from the television and just listen. The guidance is there for you if you just listen. I'm hoping that this is, uh, I hope that you can hear me. I didn't double check my, my new, um, earbuds to see if the microphone's working, so I hope so. Okay, ground yourself. Spirit really wants to get this message across. Get out into nature. Connect with nature. Feel the energy of the plant. Feel the energy of the tree. Everything has an aura. Everything has an energy signature. So just um, get into nature, ground, ask your question, ask for guidance, and it will come. The answers will come. Okay, I hope that you like these videos. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. I still have an opening, one opening. If you feel called, please let me know. If you feel called to come to the retreat from May 9th to the 14th here on the island of Culebra, Puerto Rico. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.